Obviously, it's a, a privilege to be doing what I'm doing. I realize that. Uh, I don't exactly know what it's going to feel like when you run out on the game, on the game field that first game, but uh, I know I'll be excited. I feel like it's a privilege and uh, I'm just proud of the group I'm taking out there, coaches and players included. You know, ever since, um, you know, we've been with this new staff and whatnot, you know, um, I think that, you know, there's definitely been a sense of, you know, refreshment. Um, I think that, you know, guys have found that juice again. Coach Smith actually first came in, he said, you know, we can win here. Um, he said, don't think for a second that, you know, we can't win here. You know, this is, it's been done before and it's, it's going to be done again. Yeah, I think about this fall camp was definitely very difficult. It was a lot of fun just once we got out there on the practice field. And we spent probably 14 hours a day, you know, six days a week around each other. And we really got a chance to build a relationship with everyone. And, you know, when you look around, you see all your friends out there running around, having the ball. It just it reminds you of just playing football back in the streets when you're 12 years old, and that's all you can ask for. Um, you know, for me personally, I found a you know another love for this game. Um, you know, whereas whereas last year it was it was a, you know things were things were hard. Hey, you gotta bring some energy now. You two guys, you two nice shirt. You two guys, I love it, man. No music. You can hear everyone talking to each other. Oh, we slide away. What, Kel? Get it. Turn it over. Still got it. It's like riding a bike, man. I think there's been a, a good mix of, like you're saying, the older and the younger players showing up throughout camp. Um, and, and we're going to need everybody. You know, in this, uh, this day and age, you're going to play veteran players, you can play younger players. We need the uh, the younger guys to be pushing the older guys and the older guys to be taking their game to another level and bringing those freshmen along. And so uh, it's been a, a good mix of, of that taking place and it's got to continue through the season. Okay, and play fast, play aggressive out there. Okay, if you make a mistake, make it 100 miles an hour. Okay, club, arm over, look at that. Club, arm over, dip, Sac City. The biggest thing is, you know, we've been able to soak up so much knowledge from these coaches, you know, just because they, they've been on these, these teams where they've either played or been on, you know, just great teams. And so now they're getting to share that knowledge with us and stuff like that, things that work for them. And, you know, I think that that's, that's been huge. Hey, get into it and do it right. Balls out, balls out, pick it up, pick it up. Get into it, get into it. Hey, let's fly around now, let's fly around. We got red ball. So go, get him away from you, go. Good. Said go, get into him, chop it down and wrap. Go so shove right, you start to drop, you see him leaking out, boom, you gotta go, Sos. Yeah, it's definitely fun to see some of the young guys step up, for sure. You know, Josiah and uh, Jamar, or Munchie, we call him Munchie. Uh, they, they've definitely proven the, that they can play, and they're gonna play a part on our offense this year, and I think you can throw Case Rogers in there, Isaiah Smalls as well. Let's have a day, let's go, let's have a day. Yes, sir. Get your hands ready to strike. Huge key, and I'm going to tell the offense about this, the huge key in this game, in my mind, is communication. And you're getting better at that, you just got to keep doing it. Quit doing all that, just play. Whoa, whoa. We don't like it, there's the, there's the man coming across. This league is difficult, it is tough to win games, it's, it's something that you got to bring your A game week in and week out. Uh, if we do that, we got opportunities to do some good things. Those potatoes are smacking though. So, the potatoes? Mm -hmm. I didn't eat them. I would be the damn host. Nah. No. It's my show. Well, yeah, I, thought show. I thought this was my show. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> Why would you listen to it if you're the host? <laughs> For us, especially initially, we wanted these guys to get to know us, new coaches and all that, and I, we worked really hard at that the first couple of months. 
and then to continually remind them that this thing is fun. I think when you look around, you look to your right, you look to your left, and you see all the things that you've done with people on and off the field, it really pushes you to kind of just, you want to win the, the game just that much more for yourself and for everyone around you. It's a lot of work, and we're going to push them for sure. And we got high standards, um, but we want to be enjoying the process as we're doing it. And I think that's played out. I could see it a little bit more and more the end of spring practice, and, and then through this fall camp, these guys are back to having fun again. Shotgun, high snap, over the middle, oh. touchdown! Unbelievable! Look at Matt Moore. I mean, there is no better feeling in the world than what he's going through right now. So, yeah, well, he's you know we can't play this year, so because of the transfer rule. Whatever. Good job by the back. Inside fake. Boom. What a nice throw. Huh? I found, I wish I was in the right spot initially, you know, I got all that time, you know, take the year. Those guys that played whatever, 10, 15, 20 years before, start talking about their stories and how much they enjoyed it. And our current players, you know, realizing that this is a good place and then realizing that they're, they're here and for a lifelong bond, they always be in a beaver. This is a lightning special. Yeah. You know, I gotta wait till I leave to get good stuff. That's how it usually That's your problem. Works. No, I left once, I got better stuff. <laughs> Thank you. There's, there's definitely been guys who have came in, came through here, you know, done things the right way, you know, had success on the field and stuff like that, and I think that's what we can do. Oh, I hope you know how lucky, how fortunate you are to be here, to be playing for a guy like this, to be at this university. The experiences I had here uh, set the table for uh, my future, and um, but it all started here at OSU. You guys got a huge fan of me and my family, man. We love the Beavers, so we're rooting for you. So y'all go get them. One more old time say get a break. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Let's go, baby. Good. Right, here we go. Still bees on three. One, two, three. Beach. song or a uh, recurring uh, theme undercurrent for uh, the entire time that Jonathan Smith has come back uh, with the return which was made official on November 29th of 2017 as the Beavers get ready to travel back to Columbus in the Horseshoe at 104944 this Saturday at noon. for us to see where we've been all summer, what we've accomplished, but at the same time, you know, we can't get you know, starry-eyed when we walk into the horseshoe, and you know, win or lose, that game is not gonna define our season. It's only one game out of 12. You know, that one game isn't just the definition of what the 2018 Oregon State team's gonna be. A lot, like, no one, none of my teammates came here to be, you know, to be losers. And that's that's not that's that's what we're you know trying to trying to keep from happening. We're we're trying to create a winning culture around here. We're trying to have success, you know. And I think it's something that we become obsessed with over this off season is you know just trying to get get ourselves better in every way, shape, or form. These guys, uh, I'm hopeful that they will enjoy this. We'll compete for 60 minutes, and. Uh, and then taking taking advantage of it.